right, guys, one is done. I don't know if you can hear it, but that's the beautiful sound of a 3208, just nice and nice and idling. Hey guys, uh, welcome to the channel. Uh, we're headed up to the boat again today. Um, today's gonna be an exciting day, hopefully, if everything works out. Uh, we are going to uh, flush the motors today um, with some barnacle buster. Uh, with track ecologicals uh, system so we'll kind of go through how I set that up and then each motor is going to run for a couple hours with that stuff going through and that cleans the heat exchangers uh, for the engine and the uh, transmission and then hopefully if all that works and I got all my fittings correct um, we're going to start both the motors today hopefully in the next couple weeks we'll be able to get out on the water um, for a small trip around the Potomac uh, for a day maybe so we'll see how that goes so we will see you at the boat uh, so this is how it, it goes uh, you have all the best intentions on trying to get something done um, pretty simply all I wanted to do was run uh, some barnacle buster through the heat exchangers um, I never done that on uh, this boat so it's, it was kind of a learning process um, but what it ended up happening is I had to um, completely take off the raw water pump and uh because you got to get the impeller out i did not bring another uh fitting to just run it through the heat exchangers but i would have had to take the uh, raw water pump off to to get to this part anyway um so what i'm going to show you now is uh i'm going to show you how we take the impeller out because um it uses a now a lot of people can use screwdrivers but i've got an actual uh, impeller puller uh so it's just two bolts that come off the engine block and you got to take two hoses off. Um, it's harder to get the engine guard off uh, than it is anything else, but we'll show you uh, what we're doing here. All right, hopefully that lights a little bit better. Uh, basically, it's, a, it's a, uh, a puller designed specifically to pull these impellers out. I believe in having the right tools if you can do it. Basically, what happens is... is you push that down along the side, you screw these knobs in, and they bite into the rubber side of the impeller. You tighten them up just to kind of get it centered, and then a little bit more, and basically you just twist and the impeller should slide right out. Which it has. And the beauty of this is that it pulls it out nice and even and the good thing that we're doing this because there are some broken pieces awesome all right see there's shaft driven pumps and you can see um that we are missing a big rubber chunk out of that impeller and these things are uh bent so it was not pumping uh, the way that it should have been. So it's a good thing. So what we're gonna do is, um, and I think that's cause this boat sat uh, for a while um, before we bought it. They didn't use it much. And uh, so that definitely means we gotta do, we'll do the same thing to the other side. But for right now we'll uh, put this back on the block and uh, get the uh, barnacle buster stuff running and I'll pop a video back up once we do that. All right guys, uh, we're up and running. Um, so this is, this is what happens once you put the, the barnacle buster in there, you mark it, you, you mix it at a one to four ratio. And basically it goes in, um, I'll try and get a better picture here in a second. So it goes into a little fitting that I made. That's a, a three-fourths uh, NPT to a one and a quarter inch diameter. So that's going through the water pump that we just took the impeller out of, up into the heat exchanger, and then down back to the transmission cooler. And that comes out on top out through the back side of the transmission cooler and recirculate so it's going through all the uh seawater passages inside of the engine so we're going to let that run for an hour and then we'll flush it 
and hopefully we'll get it started. Guys, it's been about an hour and a half or so, and uh, we ran the barnacle buster through the engine uh, for that time period, and then we did two uh, five-gallon flushes to make sure all the barnacle buster uh, got through it, and the crap that came out of the engine is just, it's just nasty. So it shows you the value in doing these flushes, and for me, um, uh, because I have that kit now, we're going to do it a whole lot more regularly. So just to uh, go back to where we were, so... This is uh, the impeller that was in there. And like I said, it had some uh, fins that were cracked and um, pieces missing. That's what it's supposed to look like. starboard motor's running so I'm going to take you down there real quick and uh, let you take a look and then we'll walk out back we got water coming out of the exhaust so that's exactly what we need so here we go accomplished we got uh, both motors dewinterized uh, we got both motors flushed uh, with barnacle buster um, we got both uh, both motors have new water pumps um, well water pump impellers and gaskets and uh, new alternator and water pump belts and so everything started up we got everything up to temperature uh, like I said like I said in the other uh, section uh, both motors uh, turned over on the first turn of the starter so um, I love these cat 3208s uh, they have a great sound to them uh, they're super reliable and uh, they will serve us for a long long time so it's been a good day long day oh I also got the stairs installed I'll throw a picture in uh, what they look like so that kind of turned out the way that I wanted to stay was a little bit darker but uh, they functioned the way I thought they would so I was happy with that project too so until next time thanks for watching if you like please subscribe and, and leave a comment if you wish and uh, we'll see you later